Hey guys, so today I thought that I would show you guys that Harley Quinn makeup that I mentioned in my last video. I did this for the Suicide Squad premiere a couple weeks ago, and I absolutely loved it. Like, I didn't want to take this makeup off, I loved it so much. And I don't know if you guys have been able to tell, but I really enjoy doing makeup style videos, and whenever I do these video everyday series, I really enjoy trying out different things, and makeup videos are something that I really find that I enjoy doing. I'm not the best at it, but I really like doing them. I've done two everyday makeup videos. I actually did an SFX makeup video back in October, and I even did a makeup video for Mrs. Levette from Sweeney Todd over on a collab channel. I just really enjoy doing makeup, crazy makeup, like character makeup. So I figured that I would show you how I did the Harley Quinn makeup because it's just so much fun. Now so far on my face I have done my basic foundation, bronzer, filling in eyebrows. If you want to see how I've gotten this far on my face, you can watch the little video I posted doing my everyday makeup a couple days ago because I just don't want to repeat all that stuff in this video. I just want to jump right into the Harley makeup. So I haven't put on blush yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real fast. I feel like Harley just needs rosy cheeks, you know? She just really does. There you go. And you'll actually get to see how I use my highlighter. It's not anything special, it's just this little pretty pink thing. There you go. That's it. That's literally it. That's what you missed in the other video. I used glitter instead, but I'm actually gonna put some on my nose. Here comes the fun bit. Okay, so I use this brush. It's an e.l.f. brush. I don't use it very often. And again, e.l.f. I had already had these colors. You might be surprised at what colors you already have in your palettes. So pink on this side. On this palette specifically, the pink is a lot less pigmented than the blue, so I'm gonna start with that. I start by putting it on the eye, covering it. It doesn't really matter if it comes out messy, because Harley Quinn is kind of messy. I try to make it sure that it kind of rounds off at the top a little bit and it looks like that then I just kind of keep adding that because trust me the blue you'll be you'll be amazed at how much more pigmented the blue is then what you're gonna want to do is drag it down what I did was I kind of went out like this and down the side now what I did is I kind of did it like two strands this is gonna be quite the exact same I wish I had filmed it the night of because that would have been really cool to have posted it more around the actual premiere date. Put it underneath too. I want to stick a little bit of this blue. Just, just a little bit. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There's so much pigment. It took me forever to get it to be even, so it's just gonna take me forever to do it now. It's only the second time I've done this makeup, so it's not like I've perfected it or anything. Also, this tutorial I got from Glam and Gore, which is a girl that I've talked about on this channel before. I absolutely love her videos. Her name's Mikey. I'll link to her in the description box below. Drag it out and down the face. Perfect. Like I said, Harley Quinn's makeup is a little messy. Eyeliner. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did in the last video. There's one line there. Now I remember I didn't really want to go super overboard when I did it the last time because I didn't want it to be overpowering the eye makeup. I feel like this makeup is a constant battle of trying to get the pink to look as good as the blue. The blue just looks so dark and then the pink looks so light. And I'm doing pretty tiny wings for this. You know, for wings that I just rushed really quickly, that's not bad. Then what I did was I took a pencil liner and I actually lined the bottom waterline, which I never do. I never do this. And then we do mascara, which again, I just did the same exact thing that I always do with my mascara. Last bit of fun, I used Katie Cat Matte in the shade Crimson Cat for the red lipstick. It has quickly become my favorite red lipstick. I took my hair out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me comb through it real fast. I'm looking a little crazy. I took a pretty big chunk of it on the top. Comb through it a bit so that it's not quite so crazy. And then have it like that. Because it's like half up, half down. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that it's as even with the other side as possible. And then I curled it, so I'll be right back. I feel really dumb. I just curled my hair and I forgot like the most important part of this freaking makeup. <laughs> Don't pull a Megan, kids. Remember your heart. Okay, I got one shot at this. Oh, not bad. There it is, puddings. Oh, got my heart and my curls. So I'm matching with my bae right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, that is how I did my Harley Quinn makeup for the Suicide Squad premiere. If you want to extend the look a little bit further, you could smear the lipstick. I want to. There it is. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for my Harley Quinn makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I know that it's kind of past the Suicide Squad premiere dress up thing, but you could totally do this for Halloween. Just a simple little costume. You get the shirt, got it at Hot Topic, wear some shorts, maybe not those shorts. I think you can get the bomber jacket at Hot Topic too, but I'd have to double check that. Even have my new sock. I love it. Okay, I will see you guys all tomorrow with a new Vita. Bye!